how to punch harder. Today we're going to show you three exercises that you can do at home to increase your punching power. How you can execute a knockout punch and develop the power you need to do that. So stay tuned, here we go. Now it's time for the announcement of this week's winner of our Accelerated Wing Chun DP Contest. Can I get a drum roll? All right, this week's DVD contest winner is Will Boswell. Wow, nice. <laughs> uh, Finally. Ah, nice. All right. <laughs> you too can be a winner. <laughs> hey, oh, oh, I don't think. Well, well oh. you wrote this, didn't you? No. Hey, you wrote this. This is your handwriting. No. What the heck? No, you're cheating. I don't, I don't think I'm Okay, really. okay, cut. Here's the actual winner of this week's DVD contest. Congratulations to Leo Free Spirit. <laughs> and yes, we are giving away these free DVDs. Accelerated Wing Chun System Quick Start DVD. Normally retailing for 129 bucks, but enter the contest. All you need to do is to subscribe, click the notification bell, and like and comment on this video, and you'll enter automatically into the draw. Every week, we're gonna give away a free video. So, good luck. Here's our first exercise on how to punch hard. The first one is rotational exercise. So let's just move like this. Arms stretched out to the side. And uh, let's get into our combat stance. Nice forward stance like this. And then how you get into this stance is measure with your feet. So put your feet together to one, 90 degrees on your, on your heel, 90 degrees on your toe, 90 degrees on your heel, and then another 90 degrees. And then adjust it from here to get this uh, boxing stance, or I call it a combat stance. Right, from here, put your arms out to the side, straight out, even, fingers around, and then let's move it so that you're turning um, directly 90 degrees, 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock. It'll be good to look in the mirror so that it's completely straight. Okay? You don't want to be unstraight. Okay, you don't want to be straight. Now the key to this is to keep your shoulders level. For beginners, a lot of people tend to change the plane of the angle. You don't want to do that. So one thing that you can do is you get a broomstick. Not very hard to find one of these at Home Depot or something. And then put it on your shoulder and then do this. And then practice moving it like this. It forces you to move your body and a straight plane without dipping. Okay? So the key is you want to do this so that when you do rotate your waist and your shoulders, they stay on one plane. Okay, so that's the first exercise. Look in the mirror, make sure that when you do this, you don't dip down, you don't dip down this way, it's completely straight. Okay? Notice that I am also rotating my knees and my hips. We're not just moving the upper body, we're actually moving everything. Bend your knees slightly. Okay? And then we're looking at the feet. You can rotate the toe outwards like this as you do the rotating. Now as you get better at this, you can start using a better, a bigger stick. Grab me one of those. So once you get better at that, you can get a bigger stick, heavier stick. Uh, just make sure that you have enough space at home when you do this, so you don't knock anything down in your living room. Okay? A little bit heavier stick, just a little bit more resistance for you to be able to do this.
Good, so that is the first exercise on how to get a stronger punch. Now this exercise is gonna help you increase your rotational power, which is very easy to learn and a very uh, effective mechanical uh, body mechanics to generate a lot of power. So we did this one, the waist. Now the next one we're gonna do is your whole body. So for example, if, uh, if Will is going to do that, and I do the waist one, this is the waist one. The point of the waist exercise is so that you can engage your entire body into the rotation, right? So that's what you do. It converts into a punch. And right now I'm just doing what I just did with the pole, and now I'm applying it to the punch. Okay, so it doesn't take, if you relax, if you relax, don't tense up. Tense up only at the last moment. You're gonna get a lot of power just from that one exercise. And the reason it works is because you're engaging all these muscles and joints into a spiraling kinetic force, into the punch, okay? So, um, just a word of warning is that these are just exercises. You may not want to punch like this because it opens up everything. It is just exercises to develop the abilities and the attributes that you need in order to develop your own style of a punch. Okay? So are you going to use it just like I am doing? Probably not. But are you going to be benefiting from this exercise to strengthen your rotational power? That's what the point of this video is for, so just keep that in mind. So another way to train this first exercise is to convert it into a punch. So if you had a partner, you can do it on a punching bag. It's just relax and just, just rotational power. Don't put any power into it, but just practice the motion of converting what you just did into a punch. Keep your shoulders plane on the same plane, keep your hips on the same plane. Okay, now this is just a drill, you're not going to actually punch like this. Right? But this trains your body mechanics. Okay? So just really relax. Just let this be. Just to get the proper coordination of your body and your joints. I'm not trying to hit as hard as I can. I'm just working on the coordination right now. Okay, so the next part of this is once you get really good at that, is to add speed. Don't add power, add speed. If you do physics, right? Force equals mass times acceleration. So how do you increase the force? You can either increase the mass, or you can increase the acceleration, okay? So what are we doing now? You can't increase your mass because you can only be a certain amount of weight. What we can do is increase the acceleration. So increase the speed, okay? So I'm not gonna put in extra force, I'm gonna put in extra speed so that the equation works out to more force. And so, more speed. Keep the relaxation, don't focus on force, Focus on acceleration. Okay, and that's a lot yeah. stronger, right? Yeah. And I'm not putting more force in, I'm just putting more acceleration in, in the speed, using the same relaxed body mechanics. So that's why it's very important to start off with very good relaxation and get very comfortable. I do this probably a hundred times a day. Okay, doesn't look like much. Like I'm not really using much force, but once you increase the force, there's actually quite a lot of power that goes into it. Even if I do it at speed, even if I do it slow, you can see that it has power to move. So just imagine if you can speed it up, right? A little cold better. Okay. Okay. So now you can convert that mechanic into even more force at the end of the equation. So come back and we'll show you the second exercise to increase your punching power. Hey everybody, this is Sifu David's son, and this is how he taught me how to do Wing Chun. You know, my dad, my dad doesn't know this, but I teach uh, Wing Chun to uh, his students secretly when he goes to the bathroom. That's what I do. <laughs> Oh shit, he's here! Hey, no fooling around! 
Now here's the second exercise for increasing punching power. In the demonstration, you saw me actually change leads and jump into the punch. A lot of people may say, well, that's so telegraphic, it's, probably, it's too easy to see. But right now, we're just focusing on power. How are you going to generate the most power? Okay. Well, instead of just going this, which is good, you're using the rotation of power, what if you would put some more mass behind it? Remember the equation I talked about? Force equals mass times acceleration. What if you can put more mass behind it? Okay. When I do this, it's the mass of my shoulders and my torso, and uh, that's mostly the mass. But what if I can move the mass of my whole leg, too? Okay. So wouldn't that add more force into the equation? Right? Well, you tell me. Test it at home and see so you, so you get more force if you add more mass. So what I'm doing is if I turn and then actually take half of my body mass and move it into the target, now you have a bigger mass and add acceleration, now you have more force in the equation. Right? So, so the drill is to, uh, now you did the rotation drill, now we're going to do the, um, this, this, this drill, okay, which is going to add mass, you're adding the mass into the attack, the mass of your body. All right? So the drill is this, very simple. We're going to start like this, you see a line on the floor, and then we're going to move your front foot so that your line is on this floor, I mean your foot is on this line. Okay, so move. Okay, do that a few hundred times. Okay, and next step would be to jump into it. So, okay, jump back. Make sure you land, you land nice and solid. You have a nice wide stance. You can use this as a, like a horse stance. Okay, but nice and balanced. Knees apart like this. Okay, so you're jumping into it. Jumping into it. Okay, on a line. Coming back, I'll show you a little bit more advanced one from this. Just stay tuned. All right, so we were doing this one. Okay, so when you're doing this, make sure that your upper body is completely relaxed. No tension. See, my arms are just flinging around like this. That's what you want because you don't want to put too much tension in your upper body while you're doing this. Okay, so, okay, so the next step would be to actually add a little bit more distance into it. Tiny a little bit more distance. And now you want to add a little stomp at the end. Stomp like this. Stomp. 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 Like that. Stomp. Okay, so you can try that. And like I said, I'm going to show you how to add some more difficulty. So all you need is a weight. If you don't have a way, just get a uh, water bottle or something and just do the same thing with a water bottle. Keep your hands relaxed. Very important to keep yourself relaxed. Do that a few hundred times. Just feel this natural swinging of the weight that you're holding. Feel that natural weight natural swing. Don't try to move it. Don't try to push it. Just let your body carry the weight. Let the body naturally carry the weight with the movement. Alright, so next step is to actually simulate you pushing and uh, throwing a punch out. Like that. Don't use, you don't need a really heavy weight for this. Um, 
don't go right into a heavy weight because then it will cause too much tension. And if you practice too much with a very heavy weight to start with, then you program your muscles to tense up too much, which is going to actually take away your power. Okay, so make sure you start with a lightweight. You're not trying to impress your body here. We just want to develop body mechanics, the fluidity of the movement, and add just a little bit of weight so you can feel Feel how you, your body is going to naturally throw the throw the uh, punch forward. All right, so that is the um, second exercise, and stay tuned. I'll show you a bit more. Here's another exercise you can do with exercise number one. If you have one of these uh, resistance bands, which are not that expensive to get, you can tie it to something that's solid and uh, that doesn't move, and you can do the exercise. So just imagine you're Target is over there. This will be directly behind you. I would put it directly behind the shoulder. So my shoulder is aligned with the uh, with this this cable. Okay, and now practice the rotation like this. Okay, and now what happens is now you're going to kind of tighten it up. Keep your elbow lower. Keep relaxed when you do it. Keep relaxed, you want to engage your whole body while you do it. Okay, so that's one way to do it. And the second way of doing it is doing it reverse. So we're going to start with it extended and then go backwards. So you train the stabilization muscles. Okay, do a reverse. That'll help you train the balance and the stabilization. Third way of doing this is to do uh, what you call the static training. Hold it there, like that. Focus on your balance, focus on your relaxation. Try to find a position in your body that requires the least effort to hold the cable in position. Okay, we can also do it reverse. So, imagine you punch and then you pull back. And I would hold it for about a minute or so. You can do that easily at home. So those are some more exercises you can do to help you develop the rotational power. So here's another way of doing it. You can do it reversed. There's a reverse static. I'm using my left hand so that you can see. Like that. Okay, so you just imagine you punched it, and now this is before you punch it, so we're going to just hold it there. Okay, so just hold it for about a minute or longer if you want. If you want to make it more difficult. You can, um, instead of using one side of the cable, you can use both sides of the cable like this. Just make sure that it doesn't fall over. I would put this on a telephone pole or something, something that's not going to move. And you do the same thing. You can, uh, you can push this way. Okay. Slippery floor, how hard to do. Right? Or you can do the pulling one. Okay, so that'll be a little harder, actually twice as hard, because you have twice as much cable. Put your hand here, your hand here, it doesn't matter. Okay, so you can do that practice. So come back, we'll show you the next exercise. Now these resistance bands are pretty useful because you can either tie to something. If you're at the gym, there's probably a lot of equipment that you can put it on and just wrap it around. Um, it's also good because if you don't have anything to wrap it around, you can just do it against your own, own resistance. So you can actually do like a bowl effect. Pull this one way, pull this way, and such. Right, like a bow and arrow, which would actually help you uh, increase your strength too. Okay, so that's a few more tips for you, how to use a resistance back. If you have more questions, you want to learn more 
exercises about the resistance span. We have a lot of those too, so make sure you comment and uh, tell us what you want to see. Sifu David, son, checking in again. Oh. Now, the only move you need to know is the palm. I call it the palm fist. You know, you gotta. Ah! It's all about showing him all your teeth. You must show the opponent your teeth, and this is what Bruce Lee did back in. He's, he's back. What did you do? What? We talking about? Green we talking about that? Can you see this? Yeah, I can see that. That's pretty good. Welcome back. Now we're going to talk about exercise number three to add your punching power. So the next one is going to be expansion and contraction exercise. Just like doing a fly, dumbbell fly, but we don't need the actual dumbbells. We want to be able to expand your chest, get your flexibility. Okay, so we're going to open up your chest as far as possible. And then we're going to close our chest as far as possible. You can even grab your own back like this, like you're making out with someone. <laughs> Try to reach as far as you can. <laughs> okay, so expand everything like this. Look up, expand your your abs, stretch backwards. So you have like stretching backwards like this. Oh, you can feel a nice stretch on your chest and your abs, even your neck. Okay, this is not a technique is just an exercise, okay? So I'm not gonna ask you to go punch someone like this. Stupid. People are gonna see that. That's not the point. The point is, this is a exercise, all right? So just an exercise. Don't do this and punch someone like that, okay? So that being said, just stretch as far as you can. Hold it for a minute, okay? So relax. You feel stretch here, you feel stretch here. Feel the stretch on your shoulders and your pecs here. Okay, and then bend backwards like that. Oh, nice stretch. Okay, and then now, stretch the other direction. You wanna curl up as much as you can. Okay. Feel the stretch on your shoulders, curling in together. Feel the neck pulling in. Okay, what this is, is it increases your flexibility uh, in the expansion, correct, contraction. And you're probably wondering, okay, why the heck are you doing that? Well, in addition to the rotation, in addition to the mass, moving up the mass, which combines the mass and rotation, there's an extra little bit of a body mechanic in there, which is expansion and contraction. Okay? So, if you put it all together, it's going to look something like this. This is exaggerating, don't do this in a real punch, okay? Expanding, rotate, Contraction. You see that? I'll do it this way. You expand it. This is this is just a demonstration. Expand it. You're rotating and then contracting. So you have this power too. You add a little bit more power by um, using all these other muscles. And there's another body mechanic that you add to the other body mechanics. And if you can coordinate all together, now you can add even more mass and more force into your attack. So just to get used to the expansion and contraction. We're gonna do that, okay? And come back, we'll show you some more advanced ways to uh, take that to the next level. Welcome back, so now we do exercise three, adding the resistance band is really, this is a really good exercise to train that, okay? We're gonna expand with the band, like that, okay? To make it harder, you can hold closer like this. And just expand like this. And then go contract, expand, contract. You don't even need to go to the gym to do this. You just need one of these bands. Anything elastic, and just practice that. And you get the backward expansion, like this. Right, very easy to do. All right, make sure you coordinate everything. Try to feel relaxed, don't, don't overdo it, okay? Now, the next one is uh, going backwards, and it's probably easier if you have two cables then this will be a lot better. Let me grab another cable and then we'll show you how to do this one. So like I mentioned, you can do this exercise uh, with this cable. Like in the gym, you see those, the big racks with the, uh, I don't call it the fly rack or something, yeah. right? Uh, you can use that, but that's expensive, right? So the easy way to do it is just get two cables like this and then basically stand in front of them, move back a bit. So that you, you start with the expanded uh, thing and then you just kind of move in and then 
Make sure it doesn't fall. I'm not gonna do it all the way. I'm afraid that thing's gonna fall down. Go ahead. Okay, got it. Okay, so very so expand as much as you want, as you can. Think backwards and then crunch as hard. You know, crunch together. You're gonna crunch your abs, crunch your chest together. Okay, get that full range of motion. And this is good to do the cables because if you just do a regular fly on a bench press or something on a on a bench, I mean. Um, most of the time, you can only kind of move your arms and you isolate and uh, do too much of that. It's good for building bigger muscles, but because you're isolating, but the problem with that is then you don't train to use your whole body. Okay? So it's very important to learn how to use your whole body to coordinate the whole movement of your entire skeletal structure and ligaments at the same time. And like I said, you're not going to punch anyone like this, but the point is so you can develop the flexibility develop the fluid movement and the, uh, and the body can mechanics that's going to utilize your whole body instead of isolating. So you can get more power in your punch, okay? So that's very simple, you can do that if you have two cables. A uh, little tip is that if you don't need to have two cables of the same strength. It actually might be better to get one that's weaker than the other. And the reason why is because it causes you uh, forces you to learn how to balance yourself. So if you have a stronger one on one side and a weaker one on one side, and you're doing this exercise, you'll feel more uh, workout on one side of your body, which is good because now your other side of your body has to learn how to balance the other side. You're forced to do that. So once you do it this way, you can switch the heavy cable to this way on this side and then put the light cable on this side. So it actually um, increases your core stability too at the same time. Okay, so that's the third exercise. Now this is a drill you can do with a punching bag or with someone holding a pad. Um, so we did the expansion contraction. So now we're going to make it into a punch. Develop that body mechanics and then start to fine tune it into an actual punch. Okay, so now your punch, this is just a drill. Like I said, you're not gonna punch like this. <laughs> like that, I'm not punching that, okay? But this is just a drill so you can get the body mechanic. So we're gonna do expansion and contraction. Expansion, contraction, okay? That. Okay, you go this way, put one in there. Okay, so I'm just exaggerating. People are going to say, well, you go like this, you, you're going to telegraph it, you're going to punch. But that's not the point right now. The point is how you can develop the body mechanics. Okay, because if you get good, really good at it, it can only it can be something like this. Did you see the expansion there? Did you see it? You did, right? But then, because I did it quickly. All right. So when you do it big, you train your body to use this body mechanic to the point that you can actually do it in a very small space. Okay? And then it becomes less telegraphic once you get good at it. Okay? So that is the uh, drill. Let's, let's show you a few more times. So expand, and then contract as much as you can. Grab your hands around your body if you want to. Okay? Just for the drill. So it gets used to using the whole range of motion. Okay, so that's doing it. Now you can do it this foot forward, forward because that's where you're going to end up. So. Yeah. In this angle. Okay, like that. All right, so that's another drill you can do. And then come back, we'll show you how to combine all those three exercises into one motion to get a really, really powerful knockout punch. Welcome back. So now we did all those exercises in isolation. So now we're going to put them all together so that we can make it into one smooth motion. Okay, so we're gonna start like this. Just for the sake of this exercise, to get the maximum power, we're going to do a full rotation backwards. This is rotation. As you start the rotation, you go into exercise two. As you go into exercise two, you expand it, and then it goes into exercise three. So now it becomes one smooth motion. Okay, we should do like this. Like 
So, you start like this, and then just like that, okay? So you combine everything, and then jump into it. Okay? Like that, okay? So slow motion, I start my rotation, I expand my chest, I jump into it, as I land, as I start to step my foot down, this is when I start the contraction. Okay. So, slow motion. And, very important is to add the breathing. So take a deep breath. And breathe it out. Like that. Nice and relaxed. Very relaxed. And like I said, remember the acceleration part. Make sure that you accelerate. And then uh, make sure you have nice thick skin on your knuckles or your knuckles are gonna start having your skin come off, okay? All right, so what you do is this drill. If you're doing a lot of punches every day, I recommend wearing gloves. Because if you don't, you're gonna have skin coming off your, your fingers and knuckles like this. Okay, so I've been training a lot. I got thick, thick knuckles, people tell me, like stones. But not everybody's gonna have that, so um, wear gloves. Okay, but for now, we're just going to do this. So like I said, we're going to do the rotation, expansion, and then do the hop, and then do the contraction. Okay? So um, that's what you do. So, so it's like, imagine you're, you have a door, and this is the hinge, and you're slamming the door over here. Right? And you want to add acceleration. So you want the, the speed to be the highest right when you make impact. Okay? So you want to kind of build up the speed and whip it into your target. All right, so just relax. Like that. And to increase power, like I said, instead of increasing force, just focus on increasing the acceleration. Okay. So if you practice this uh, um, body mechanic, combine the, all three of the exercises that we did, make it nice and smooth. That's why it's important to practice slow. A lot of people will just be rushing to it. But the, but the reason you want to practice slow is so that you can coordinate it. So that everything flows together, so you don't lose power along the chain. Because this is a chain, right? Chain number one, chain number two, chain number three. So if you lose power and it leaks out in the chain, then there's less power that's going to go through. So if you practice it slow, it smooths out the chain. So that's more efficient. Okay, so you don't lose the power. You don't uh, waste energy. Okay? So do it slow. And once you can do it slow, then you, all you need to add speed and then and then you'll get more power just naturally. Right? So. Okay, so you can see I'm not adding more that much more force, I'm just adding more speed into the chain. Okay. And you can feel that's that's basically a knockout right there. Yeah. Okay. So if you want to develop the most powerful punch, this is just one technique, is to switch leads and actually do a big butt up giant punch. It's not going to work all the time because it's pretty. It's a long. This is a slow punch. But in this video, we're just talking about how to punch harder, right? You want to punch as hard as possible. This is one technique that can get you the most powerful punch. So, if you're wondering how you can enter into the contest, every week we're giving away this free DVD, Quick Start Accelerated Wing Chun DVD. It's a value of $129. All you need to do is just to enter your comments, like this video on this video and subscribe to this channel and click the bell notification so you get email notifications of all the new lessons that are coming out almost on a daily basis. So this is C with David. Until next time, train hard and train safe.